All right, this is the microwave region you see here. It says Mario, 1937, pimento stuffed queen olives. Perfect for relish or a martini, relish tray. I didn't notice that before. It's got a lot of other stuff on it. Why are you? Why am I showing this? You see at the bottom of this blue fake diamond jewel thing? It comes with some magnets I bought. I've got some other weird uh, jewelry type stuff. It's my dad struggling to breathe. You hear him? Been horrible. But in the top, you see that doodle bug? Hold on. That doodle bug did not exist until I was fucking with something very small and it just unfolded into a doodle bug. And I was actually kind of taken aback. But there it is, you see it? It wasn't quite dead yet, but it wasn't also alive. At the same time, the same thing happened with a, a spider. The same similar speck of dirt, fucked with it with a magnet, and the spider came out. It was not a normal spider, because I looked really close. Very small, the exact same size. But this one I put in here, and the other one I floated on my wooden disc. Not a wooden nickel, but... So... What's the point of that? They manifested. This represents somebody important to me, but it's a clue. 17 seconds. Acrowave. It's almost done. Sometimes the microwave glitches, it'll just stop, and I'm like, here's the other part of this. You see how this rotates here around these guys? If you get a rotating pyramid around other pyramids and you line it up with the magnetic field, you get a force field. And here's this. This is also in play. What am I doing? I'm doing something great. It's just, it's just, it's just the beginning stages of it. All right, now I'm on said mattress. I am the consumer, as you can clearly see. I'm on this mat, which is a very strange distance off the floor, but in reckoning of chakras and shit, you think of the energy rotating chakra levels at different heights. Obviously, closest to the ground is going to be your root. Now, this was on the news today. Some place, they had some false flag. I don't remember the, exactly what it was. But the thing said foundation. Bigger than shit. And everything else is just like everything they do. They tell you that, you know, people went in and shot or something. For, something totally to, to make you sad and feel fearful. That's all I know that it was. That's why I'm not left with any of the details. It's not that I don't care. And it's not that I don't believe that things like this happen. I'm saying there's an impropriety in what our media people are bringing us as news. It's almost as if uh, they want us fucked up somehow. It's almost like maybe the people that own their stations have decided the path the universe is going to go and haven't consulted us. Maybe that's crazy. I don't know. But that's just currently my theorem regarding that. That's why I'm waiting to bring out the dragon. But you see here, Google Earth Pro, this is where we live. Usually if I draw these lights and I get the Earth spinning, this has occurred outside the window. Because we're somewhat beamed, it seems like, from the direction of west which is behind us, we heavily feel the frequencies that are coming from this direction. So I utilize shape power with my yard. You see here? And I've drawn the labyrinth shape, just basically a very simple, I'm drawing a square and going in towards the center without crossing the line. 
that became the labyrinth. My friend said he had this in a dream. Well, his dream, he has, my friend Taylor, Mr. Babin, is claws in my book, in my story. And this is from um, years and years ago. We, in my, as characters in my book, he was a earthbender. I guess is the way that people understand it to be called now. And he had claws that different um, materials came out of. Now, the book is never wrote as much as so, but the world the book is related to, Zordania, is actually, I believe, myself. And I am the, the uh, consciousness of another planet, but I've incarnated here. I think that other planet is me. Especially the core of that planet is the 5D me. And I know what that looks like. That's a character in this story as well. So that is my basic theory. Today my friend Heather came. And Heather, she represents the past. And she's been in these dream worlds with me. And she has a lot of healing to do. And she uses... Well, I don't say she uses, but... She's shown a lot of her family stuff and stuff going on. And I think there's valid reasons for her to be the past. But I didn't want to be having the past brought here unaware. So I made her aware of it to say like, hey, um, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Don't don't bring the past into this place without being aware that you can do that. So that trifecta, I think, is a recipe for a going forward that is beginning right now.